please rise with the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Roll call, please. Mayor Cox. Here. Mrs. Fascio. Here. Mr. Ranieri. Here. Mr. Lobinstein. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, Mr. Root. Here. Mrs. Kelly. Here. Mr. Fowler. Here. And Mr. Wright. Uh, public notice of this meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act has been given by the clerk in the following manner. One posted on the bulletin board in the borough clerk's office on July 1st, 2016, and two emailed to the retrospect on July 1st, 2016. Uh, we have a limited agenda. Uh, let's go first for resolution 1691 is a resolution authorizing the borough of Runnemede to enroll in the National Joint Powers Allegiance Alliance Cooperative Purchasing System. Mr. Wright, would you like to elaborate on that one? Yes. This is a, a national cooperative where they go out and actually do bids. And basically, once you join the cooperative, they've already met the requirements for the state of New Jersey. Uh, I'm paraphrasing, uh, but that's basically the way it works, similar to the one that we just. So it's still in a state contract, contract, but it's a different organization. It's, it's, it's an organization. association that's already gone through the bidding process for the items that are in there for their members. So there's various things that we can. We could have purchased the fire truck via this process, except for we went with the one that was the state contract a few years ago. So. Uh, Public Works has things that are available. I think the hook truck will be available with the options that are bid out through this process. Right now we're doing the, the gym floor. So this will allow us to purchase the gym floor? Right, that should be the next resolution. Okay. Will it save us money? Yes. Possibly. It will have the gym floor done by the end of the summer. Okay, so more time as well. I, I think that the pricing on it would probably, we, I think that if, if I kick it over to Councilman Root for a second, he was working on this a couple years ago and having a very difficult time finding more, more than one vendor. Right. And during the process, we decided to go in instead of the tile floors or the snap floors, whatever they were, we wanted the poor floor. And I think that the, the comment that was made was the pricing was reasonable for what we're requesting. So is it possible we could have found somebody else out there for a couple thousand dollars less? It's possible, so I don't want to. Okay. The bottom line is it's a good, it's a good price. And we can use this for other purchases. Correct. We're also in the future going to put the hook truck on to get this process too. Okay. So is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Okay. Motion by Mr. Root. Second by Ms. Passio. Roll call, please. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Root. Yes. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Resolution is adopted. Resolution 1692 is a resolution appointing ROK Industries Inc. doing business at NewJerseyLeanInvestor.com for internet-based electronic processing of bid information related to the auction sale of municipalities tax lien certificates and authorizing the proper official to execute an agreement for such professional services. Is there a motion? Is there I so move. Okay. I'll second. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Mr. Ranieri. Just to clarify this again, the, the tax sale, electronic tax sale is still on a uh, pilot program, so we're authorized. We have to do this every year. I think it was very successful. Yeah, yeah. Sure. How can we quantify that it was very successful? What was the, what was some of these? Uh, what was the uh, amount in uh, premiums that we collected? It was just better than every other. Million dollars, and plus we didn't have all Any the traffic that we had. It was just an easy way. All the money was wired. We didn't have to deal with cash. Or I mean, think it was great. It worked great. So all the money has to be wired. Huh? Correct. Oh, that's nice. That's really okay. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. Roll call, please. Yes. Mr. Robinstein? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Ranieri? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is the reason we started this. Resolution 1693 is a resolution rejecting the bid from Lambert Construction for, for Second and Central Avenue intersection improvements. Uh, does anybody want to elaborate on that first before we make a motion? Or oh. you want to at least tell us what happened? Prices. The prices came in higher than we had anticipated. Uh, we only had one bidder, which was Lambert Construction. Um, I did talk to an, another bidder, Jerry and Son, uh, Chris Geese, who normally bids projects like this, especially oh, with CDBG, yeah. but he just, was just too busy. Um, 
Is that, I saw your response was saying if we gave somebody more time, we might get a better price. Right. What's the concerns about more time? The school would be open. Right. We were trying to get this project done by September 1st. So we were, we had a quick, it was advertised July 5th, bid opening was on the 15th, and we were trying to get contracts and everything done so we could have a pre-construction meeting and have construction being done in August and be done by August 29th. So it's a 30-day construction period. The problem with trying to have someone bid and then try to put it immediately on their books, you know, with, within 15 days. And everybody's trying to bid for 60 to 90 to 120 days out. So the price reflected that they're going to have to jump on this, get everything done within 30 days. So if you put this out for a longer period of time, it's our belief that you'll get a better price on this closer to what our estimate was. But are we concerned about the school or what's everyone's thoughts? We don't want to do it when the family's in a catastrophe twice a day. So the, yeah, the option is to put it off and rebid it next spring or and be ready to go as soon as school is out. That's one option. Um, I just don't know how long the road's going to last, but it's in pretty bad shape. Uh, I think it was estimated time. How long do you think it would take to do the actual work? Well, <laughs> they could get the work done in two, two weeks, but you don't want to give them only two weeks. 30 days is the appropriate time to give them it was yeah, just throw out, throw out. right. And we, had, we had a similar project. We had a similar project in Rodney. It was just one intersection. It was a little bit bigger than this. Yeah, Magnolia. Right. Uh, by a school? It was not by a school, but they were. You know, one week was concrete work, the next week was mill and overlay, and they were done. And today they were just doing the striping. So it was a quick turnaround project. It just because of the, the time constraint of trying to get it done by September first was. The pushing issue and not getting bidders to act on this. Okay. Well, let's first, I guess, I think the consensus is rejected because we don't have the money, and then we can discuss if everyone thinks we should go back out. We already have the paperwork done, it's just a matter of just re advertising. Does anybody have a concern about going to the, the, the school year? Is that? We oh, don't. It, 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 it. I don't. It's been like that for years, and it really needs to get done. Um, certainly, it will hurt the school somewhat, but. You know, it's just part of progress. And I think it's something that really needs to get done. I, my kids, both my kids went there, yeah. and it's been horrible for years. Bob, you. I agree. I think this is just. Move on. Yeah. Are you saying data, friends? No, no. The point is to rebid it. Rebid it. Go out. It would be a little inconvenient. Yeah. Someone have to rebid. We'll come back soon. Communicate with the school and let them know. Would, would you be looking to restrict hours of construction? Like only have them working from nine to two, so it doesn't overlap with the school hours, which which would push the that would that would increase the price. That, that would increase the price. That's going to bring the price where you're at, right? Right. So, so can you bid it, John, and not say it starts until June of next year? Is that too long? No, we wait. You just wait and bid it in the spring. Yeah, we'll do it in the spring. How long? It's not that big of a project. Yeah, but what it is, it's it's kind of three different crews. You're gonna have the the, the demo. Tim and I out there doing their demolition. Tom Creek is going to be out there for a while. They're going to have the building guys. Yeah. And finally, they're going to have the asphalt guys. So it's not going to be someone starts on a Monday and works solid yeah. for the two weeks. It's going to be the several different crews. About one, 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 it's it's one, a 30 day job. Probably real life in three weeks. But, um, if we wait the year, will we have to do any temporary repairs to keep it going? That's something we could not. Oh, we've been patching it. Yeah, That's why it's probably up if we wait too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if we put out a bid, say, in March of next year, just they start as soon as school, that would give somebody like you saying they're trying to, plan their, right. trying to plan their year. We're just going to have to keep patching over the window, though. Yeah. It keeps it it's the all the time. What about CDBG? There's no problems with money being held for a year. It's not a big deal. We have to use them. It's like 18 months is the period of time. Yeah. So I think we're fine with that. Because yeah. with we were very, the reason that we were pushing so hard was because we basically just got to know. So, so, we're, we're, they, time. so we're, we're just like put this right out there trying to get it done for school. Correct. So there's no money, the money, the block grant money is not in jeopardy. Okay. So if we wait and wanted to do it, you know, so the school's done the following year. And I will tell you, it, it probably is a good idea to wait that long. I know we might want to get it done, but it's just going to be a mess. No matter what. It's going to be a mess if you try to keep going to school. It always turns out it's not just the street, it's the sidewalks too. Yeah. The sidewalks, the ramps, it's, yeah. it's, the crosswalks. Street. It's a mess. I like it. You know, the money's not in jeopardy. We tried to get it done before school starts for a reason. We 
So if somebody was slow, they might have hit on it and jumped on it. But it did happen. So I would suggest rejecting all bids and then doing it mid-spring so it's ready just for the beginning of the construction period uh, for summer. So we put it out in the March, April. People know that it's not going to start for 90 to 120 days as we get better prices. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need a motion. Is there a motion on 1693? I'll make a motion on that. I'll second that. Uh, motion by Mr. Farrell, second by Mr. Lawton. Roll call, please. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Lawton, sir? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Adair? Yes. Uh, so the resolution is uh, adopted, which means we are rejecting the bids. So we got to put it on our calendar. That's what Ms. Kelly was just saying. I mean, if everyone can remember, especially you guys, no, we well, just, I mean, you already have all the drawing done. We just have to so re-advertise. Yeah, and we just changed the date from starting as soon as school ends in June. Yeah, and we'll also put it out instead of a 30-day turnaround. Looks like we put it for a 60-day turnaround. We'll also keep the prices down. So again, it'll be done well before we even look at it. Uh, 1694 is a resolution awarding a contract to Mastercraft Sports Flooring for the purchase and installation of the gym floor in the Harry Williams building through the New Jersey Purchasing Powers Alliance. Is there a motion for this? I make a motion. Motion by Mr. Ruth. Second that motion. Second by Ms. Massey. Any discussion? Yes. So, yeah, please. What's the final cost on that? 70? 69? Oh, it's in the resolution? I'm sorry. Is that right here? Go no, about it. 61,000, which I think is a little more than we were originally we were going to do, but I think it's a much better project, right, Mike? I mean, this is a yeah, better for the board. Floor. Yeah. No it's scenes. Ten times. Ten times. It's a solid rubber, rubberized. I don't want to say it's rubber. I'm sure it's a final. I think that's all up to. We haven't seen the drawings, right? final drawings yet. So we're authorizing the purchasing. Mm -hmm. just, I think they'll draw something, at least we talked about. Is there a warranty? Yeah, I'm sure. Don't, don't get it wet. <laughs> Yeah, here's what it says, and it's a seven millimeter and two millimeter for last the floss system for the gym floor. We still have to sign off on what it looks like because I think they're still concerned about volleyball, the two basketball, uh, you know, the, those vertical. Side, side, side. I think the side ones, yeah. So they want to go with the, the full basketball court, two individual basketball courts going out this way, and a volleyball court. And that's just goes to know that Chinese are running. Yeah, Uh, so we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Lockenstein? Yes. Mr. Reed? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Six eyes. Okay, the resolution is adopted. So we'll definitely get a drawing and everyone will see it before we you know, see if we have an idea of what's going on. And I don't think it's terrible because basketball doesn't get or volleyball doesn't get started until late September. So this will be done this summer. And if you put it in perspective, uh, the snap together floor, I believe, was 51. Really? That rings a bell? Right. So it's only on what, 11? 10,000 more. And it's a better floor? No seams. No seams. Oh, that's oh that's it's going to be very nice. Well, the other yeah. ones were saying that it was down there. It was plastic and, it, and they kind of just put so it together. Is there any other gyms in the area that have that floor? I'm sure most of the high schools have. Uh, is it floor? Yeah, yeah, it's layered. Yeah, it's not layered. Yeah, it looks like five layers. Some applications, you look like fire size. Is that what it is? Yeah, Similar to that stuff you put on, uh, like, over the concrete or the deck. You know, we finish. Is there any other business? Yes, no. Oh, no. Any other business? I just want to say I'm very impressed that every member of council is here for a special meeting at 4 o'clock. Thank you. On a, on a Tuesday. I mean, uh, one thing I think everyone notices whenever we go to things, we always have a great turnout. People actually notice that we always have a good turnout for our group. I mean, our lawyer doesn't always show up, but uh, I mean, uh, shop is not here. Say <laughs> it. <laughs> he did call. He did call. Not here. Not here. We can close session. New Year or something like that. We can do it today. Because nothing's really happened at this point. Right. Should I at least notify? No. I won't okay. Do it. All right. That's fine. What'd you have? Uh, the other item, and 
let you know that I guess a, a little background. When we get a grant, basically after the budget's adopted, we do a chapter 159 and we can insert the revenue and the expenditure into the budget because it's different than what the budget was when it was adopted. You either didn't know about the grant at that point in time, that nature. Um, in the budget, we have a revenue line, I believe it's about $20,000 for street opening permits because that was what was more or less received at the time. For what permit? Street opening permits. Street opening. And there was an appropriation that was beefed up yeah. in, in the engineering line item to, to cover those costs more or less a year. It doesn't have to be a dollar, but they were. Um, we are at about $53,000 in revenue in street opening permits. So if you can follow the bouncing ball, while we have all this revenue that's come in in excess of what we anticipated, we also have bills coming in because of the amount of work with all the Clumps Ridge Road, South Jersey, and yes. South Jersey gas uh, work that's out there being done. So the street opening permits are fees paid for it by the utility companies for us to make sure they put the pavement back the way it needs to be put back. So we have to increase the revenues and right. increase the expenditures? Yeah. Right. Well, we can't increase the revenues this year because we've already adopted the budget. So I'm just letting you know that in addition to the request for emergency appropriation that we're putting in, we are bringing revenues that will just be budgeted for in, in the next year. They don't necessarily go dollar for dollar, but I'm just letting you know that it's being offset. So I'm requesting an emergency appropriation in the engineering line of $50,000. And, and there's there's a reason that it's, it's a little bit higher than the bills we have on hand, but we still have a half year left to go in that line item. So basically, uh, and, and you can't, well, you also can't transfer from this line or transfer into this line after we do it. So we need to make sure that we get the right amount so the first it time. Stays, it stays only for that one purpose, right? Well, it's for engineering costs. So anything well, under- if there, was, uh, if there was even more, uh, would you just say the state would allow us to transfer more money in if we had a well, we'd have to problem? Do, we would have to do another emergency. Oh, okay. We wanted to write the first line. Now, at the end of the year, we can cancel it if there's left or bounds. Because what we have to do is when we do the emergency, we have to raise it one of the first things you put in the next year's budget. So we have to raise the deferred charge next year. The road openings are much higher because South Jersey gas and uh, water company, everybody's out there picking up Gunners Ridge Road. Right. So we have our ordinance to protect our, our roadways to make sure when they dig this up and put their pipes in that they're back filling the and doing everything right. So we're not going to have fire sink right holes or anything else. He's not letting us proceed with all this stuff. So it's it's just the fire the governor. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, take a number, this please. Is ridiculous what's going on out here. I, I get complaints all the time this, from everybody. This is not the only thing. They, they think that we stopped everything. Yeah, they don't understand it. It's Governor that did. As, as of this morning, I saw a number that right now the shutdown has cost the lost wages $41 million. Oh, okay. That's So it just lost wages. Yes. You know, so that's $41 million of lost wages. It's time to put so, but what this is, is allow, pretty much allow Rich to pay our office for the inspections we did with the monies that the utilities company has put into the program. Yes. That's the best part, right? Yeah. yeah. No, and just to place it, make it clear to everyone that uh, the ordinance does uh, oh, pay right. for this expense. The problem is we didn't think we were going to do this much this year. That's the issue. It was unanticipated. It was unanticipated we were going to spend all this money. But, but Rich, you can't insert the revenue Okay. All right, so we have uh, resolution number 16 is a resolution authorizing emergency appropriations, uh, the engineering other expense, the amount of $50,000. Uh, I'll give this, I'll give three percent. Okay, three percent, that's fine. Okay, is there a motion? I so move. I'll second that motion. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Ms. Passio. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Yes, Mr. Powell. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Lawson. Yes. Mr. Root. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Okay, the resolution is adopted. A quick question though. Had we not had the ordinance, would we have it to eat all this cost? We wouldn't do it. We wouldn't That's do it. The, the reason we brought this ordinance to run of it, and we also now have it, I know we have a lot of other municipalities. Uh, utility companies have gotten notoriously derelict and watched over their own contractors. So I'll tell you, just, just 20 years ago, or even 10 years ago, utilities companies like uh, New Jersey American and PSG used to have supervisory staff that would go around and double check on the contractors that they're doing the right backfill, they're closing the roads up, doing the right paving, if it's a concrete road, put a concrete back, 
and match it to this stuff. I don't agree. Contracts right now are doing whatever the heck they want to do, whenever they want to do it, and doing whatever sort of restoration they want to, unless you have the word. So South Jersey Gas, yes, BCNG, New Jersey American don't have anybody out there. That's really, they have cut staff, so now the contractors are getting a pipe in, they're getting their pipe paid for, but they don't care about restoration. So we're almost having to police them, and the only way to make them do the right job is to have the ordinance say you have to put back holes there, and the enforcement is your engineer that goes up and goes like that. I will tell you, uh, some towns, unfortunately, like uh, uh, the Barbara Had Heights, did not want to adopt that ordinance, even though we had it there, and New Jersey Marcus came through and has ripped up a third of the roads, and now they're sorry that they didn't do what the borough uh, front of me did, because you were on the front side of this. They'll be adopting that ordinance too. So. Well, why would they do it? They didn't want to put any more uh, uh, layers of uh, requirements or permits. Regulations. But they didn't anticipate. Oh. We had a lot of discussion about that. We did. Yeah. Yeah. There's always concerns because you don't want to all of a sudden someone who's yeah. just doing something simple. You, you stymie know, that. Actually, yeah. But you sure can tax you when you have wholesale replacement of mains by utility. Well, we amended it one time already, right? Because we had a home and report. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've been talking that you know, the rural very again, when they tell me we're all because we're right next a lot and they were doing the smoothing on that. You have know, the plaques and stuff on walls are shaky because the, the roller is going there. It's so very tall. It's a vibrating right. roller. So if these guys come in and use your account version, and they sure cut the job, and their water pipe is laying on top of our terracotta pipe, it might not do anything this year, next year, next year, next year. Then they go and they prepare a paving section, and that thing starts vibrating on top of it, and we're going to be an yeah. hour. So, so that's what it, uh, I will say. It's generally, unfortunately, lack of supervision, the in-house supervision that the utility companies need to have, and we're just finding that. And there's certain contractors that want to name the names are just notorious for going through breaking utilities and still just throwing dirt back in the hole. I mean, breaking people's pipes. Can we tell the story? Of, is anybody know? No. I don't even know what it is, but no. I don't know. <laughs> so we had a problem down at one of our pump stations. I don't know if everybody heard this. There's a problem at the pump station. And when they were cleaning up the pump station, there was a stormwater line next to it. And whoever decided to put the fence in, and they drilled the holes, put the fence in, drilled through the stormwater pipes. And then they just took pieces of like old signs and put them on top of the, the holes. Uh, do you remember, did anybody, did you get that from uh, Harry? Or? No. Yeah, they, they just covered it. And then buried it back up again and, and things yeah, like that. Very yeah. technical, less of supervision on it. They just want to close it up, get the job done, go on. We found that on South Oakland Avenue. We had one of the chain doors to replace the storm pipe because when we excavated the road out, somebody just played it over top of it. They broke the pipe, but instead of fixing the pipe, they just cut the, the dam. Okay, anything else? Okay, good welfare. This portion of the meeting is open to the public. Anyone wishing to speak, please come to the front the microphone. Seeing no one. <laughs> Seeing no one, is there a motion to close the public portion? Motion to close the public portion. 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 Motion to close Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the public portion is closed. Is there a motion to adjourn? Aye. I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Lamas, second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned.